Alongside the quality of an organization's products, its services, and its financial performance, a CEO's reputation is now considered to be one of the most important attributes to brand reputation. Now that's important for a number of reasons, because what it truly means is that an organization now has to focus as much on getting an alignment between the CEO's brand and the organization's brand if it's going to be able to achieve what it truly wants to achieve. I think the environment in which CEOs now operate is very challenging. Um, there's an increase of visibility, um, they're under scrutiny constantly, and there's a relentless appetite for justification of their action has made their relationship with multi-stakeholders all the more important. But I think when they get it right, the opportunity to make an impact on their own organization's reputation is significant. These days, in terms of lifestyle, with the technology, you know, with the people on the social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and it seems that uh, everyone is connected. And everyone seems to interest in whatever is going on in the world. That easily to understand that uh, with the personal characteristic, uh, leadership style in each of the CEOs playing a very important role. CEOs have always understood the significance of being able to articulate their vision for the organization with real clarity and purpose. But expectations continue to shift and I think now CEOs need to be more open and accessible, more so than they ever have been. It's as if we're sort of entering this period of the personalization of the CEO, if you will, where I want to know more about that person certainly as much as I want to know about their own organization. Now that is enormously challenging, but I think what this report shows is for the CEO that can get that right, the benefits can be quite significant. Admired CEOs understand the market, they understand their competition, and they're able to infuse a sense of confidence and optimism within their organization. But what we saw in this report was that 34% of respondents who felt that their CEO had a strong reputation attributed that to the fact that they were humble. Now being humble and being successful in business are not necessarily two words or phrases what you see in the same sentence very often. But clearly today it's the CEO that puts the organization in the spotlight rather than themselves who are likely to see the most positive market response.